Today we're learning to calculate the area of a sector of a circle. Uh, my previous video was on the, the length of an arc and it might be worth watching that one before you, you look at the area of a sector. Um, a sector, sector of a circle is a small piece of the, the circle. So in this case here, the one that we're going to try and work out is we're going to try and work out this shaded area here and this area here we'd call uh, a sector, or a sector of a circle, okay? And uh, what we know about this one is we've got uh, 90 degrees uh, is the angle that we're working with here. So we know that that's going to be a fraction of a circle's area, isn't it? So I'll just write that down. So that's going to be, it's a fraction of a circle area. Okay, so that's what we're trying to work out. Uh, we could work out the area of a circle, and as you know, that's pi r squared to work out the area of a circle, and then take the fraction of it, and we can see that that's a quarter of a circle, so we just take a quarter of it. Sometimes the, the angle that we get in the, in the center here for the sector is not as nice as a 90 degree angle. It could be something a bit more uh, complex than that. And we need a way to make sure that we can work out what fraction of the circle that we're trying to find the, the area of. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll try some of the, the, the questions that I've got here. Two quick questions, shouldn't take too long in the video. And let's go ahead. So we know now that the the area of a circle is pi r squared, okay? So that's pi times r squared, so r being the radius. So remember the parts of the circle here, we've got the radius is from the center of the circle to the, the outside of the circle, which is called the circumference that we used in the length of arc calculation. The diameter is across the circle from one side to the other through the center and the diameter is twice the radius or the radius is half the size of the diameter okay so these these points are, are pretty important for us here so in this case here if i'm given the diameter of this uh, circle here i need to know the radius to calculate the area of the circle so the radius is going to equal half 120, which gives me 60 centimetres. First thing that I need to do. I know that it's going to be a fraction of the circle. So the fraction that we've got here is 90 degrees. If I think about 90 divided by 360, well, that's going to give me a quarter. And I ran through this part uh, in the length of arc calculation, but I'll just do it very quickly again here. If the angle at the centre is 180 degrees, well, if we divide that by 360, that will give us a half. If we just punch it into our calculator, it will give us a half as, a, as an answer. Uh, if it was 120 degrees, that there is going to be a third of a circle. 72 degrees divided by 360, that's going to give us a fifth of a circle. If I think about a sixth of a circle, well, that would be 60 degrees all over 360. An eighth of a circle, or if I was given the angle in here is 45, if I divide that by 360, that gives me an eighth. If I've got 36 degrees over 360, that there will give me a tenth. And the final one that I'd written down was 30 over 360, and what that should give us is a twelfth. So all of these numbers here that would be given as an angle at the, uh, the centre of the, the sector, that there could work out to be an easy fraction that we could do non-calculator work. We're working with a calculator today, so we're going back up to here, okay? So to work out this sector that's here, the area of that sector, what we're going to do is we're going to take a fraction of the area of a circle. So I'm going to say that the area of the sector, so AOS is equal to the fraction of the, the circle area. That fraction that we're working out, out is going to be the angle that's here, the angle, and we're going to divide that by 360 and just multiply by the, the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. Let's put our values in and get this calculated out. So 90 over 360, we'll multiply that by pi, we'll use the pi button, 
Radius, remember, given the diameter was 120, calculate the radius as 60, and we'll square that. We'll use the square button on the calculator. So to calculate that one out, what we'll go for is, first put in the, the fraction button. I'll go for 90 over 360. Or if you don't have a fraction button, just 90 divided by 360, and we'll times that by pi. And then we'll times that by 60, and we'll use the square button that's here. Okay, and equals. Now that gives me 900 pi. Okay, so if I was doing it non-calculator, I would be multiplying pi 3.14 by 900. But I'm using the calculator, so I'll just press the SD button, and that should give me 2827.4. We're working in centimeters, and that would be 2, 1 decimal place okay sometimes i'm going to be asked and i'm sure you'll be asked in some of the work that, that i'm doing today with you we'll be looking at uh, significant figures so to round this number to three significant figures i'm going to count in from this side so there's one two three i'm going to think about drawing a line here i'm going to be looking to the right of the line that seven is going to make that two go upwards to a three so what i've got is i've got two Eight, three. Now my decimal point is sitting out here, so I must show where that decimal point is. So I'm going to put my zero in there. Okay, centimeters, and that there is an answer to three significant figures. Okay, so three significant figures is what we're probably going to be working to today. Okay, let's look at the major sector. So if I was working out a major sector here, okay. This one here is the minor sector, so I'll just call that minor, area of the minor sector. And what I'm wanting to do is work out the area of the major sector. Now the major sector would be this part here, the bigger part of the, uh, the circle area. Okay, So I would need to work out what the, uh, the angle is that's here. Because that's 90 degrees, 360 take away the 90 would leave me with 270 degrees all the way around there. So just as I've done here, I'm just going to go quickly and do this calculation. And it's the major arc, that we're, not the arc, sorry, the major sector that we're working on today because it's the area. So we'll go for, it's going to be the angle all over 360. We're going to multiply that by pi and we'll times that by the radius squared, okay? So the angle is going to be 270 all divided by 360 times pi times 60, because remember that was a radius squared. Let's get an answer for that one. Okay, so again on my calculator, I'm going to go for the fraction button, 270 all over 360. I'll multiply that by pi. I'll multiply that by 60 squared and get an answer. Okay, 2700 pi and press the SD button and I get 8482.3 and remember that's going to be centimetres squared so I'm going to go back up here because I missed that out there centimetres squared okay for the units because it's the area that we're working on so that's centimetres squared and that's going to be to one decimal place so remember what we'll be doing today probably going for three significant Figure. So let's have a look at that. So first one in, second one in, third one in. I'm going to be cutting the number here. That two leaves my eight as it is. So I've got eight, four, eight. And instead of the two, I'm going to replace it with a zero to show where my decimal point is there. So eight, four, eight, zero. And I'm going to remember it. It's going to be a centimeter squared. And that's going to be two, three significant figures. Okay, so, so that would be the answer for a major arc and also for a minor arc, okay? So, arc, so the sector, okay? Right, let's let's do one more question and we'll do this one pretty quickly. Right, what we've got here is the area of a sector, right? We're going to be working on this small sector that's here. And remember, sometimes we're not given the full circle that you can see there quite often we're just given a small slice of pie like this here and we have to work out the area of it so to work out the area what we're going to do is we're going to start off by thinking about it's a fraction of a circle so it's a fraction of a circle and 
and it's the area that we're interested in. Okay, what we're, what we're trying to calculate is the area of a sector, remember again, and that's going to be a minor sector that we're working on here. So the fraction that we're interested in, remember, is the angle at the centre there, divided by 360, multiplied by pi, times the radius squared. So remember, you can always work out the area of the circle, and then take the fraction of it, okay? So, go and go for the angle, it's 31 over 360. We'll multiply that by pi, multiply it by the radius. We don't need to do any additional calculations here, we've got the radius here, that is just straight radius. Okay, halfway across the circle from the centre to the outside. And what we're going to go for is 20 squared. So again, straight into the calculator again, we'll go for... Okay, so fraction button, 31 all over 360. I'm going to multiply that by the pi button. I'm going to go for 20 squared equals, okay? So we've got 310 over 9 pi. What we're going to go for is 108.2 when I press the SD button. So 108.2 centimetres squared, okay, because it's area, and that will be to one decimal place. Just to finish off, I'm going to do this one again to uh, three significant figures. So if I count in from this side, one, two, three, I'm going to be cutting my number right here, right where the decimal point is. So what I've got as an answer is 108. I'm at my decimal point, so the 2 has just left the 8 as it is. Centimetres squared, two, three significant figures. Okay, so, so that concludes the length of arc um, video and also now this one, the, the area of a sector. And this should give you a good uh, chance to get on with the work that uh, I'll, uh, I'll put up on Teams for you. Okay, best of luck.